What time is it? You know what time it is? It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's down there. Down there. And it's time to follow my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G-E-E-K-L-Y Amanda, same on Twitter. And it's time to get this reaction video started. Action video. I meant movie review because today we are reviewing the new Disney's Mulan 2020. So we all know the story of Mulan, right? From the Disney's 1998 animated movie, you know. And this is this is the this is the live action remake of it. Uh, it's about a girl who you know enlists herself in, into the army, pretending to be a boy, dressing in a boy's clothes, just because. Her, her father volunteered and he was kind of disabled and, and he was older and volunteered because they didn't have any sons in the family. So she takes his place unknown. Anyway. Now I know when this was coming out, everybody was going crazy because they were like, oh, they don't have the Mushu, the Mushu, the, the dragon that's in the, in the little animated Mulan. And oh, they don't have the music and this and that. They were going all crazy about it. But let me tell you, the story of Mulan was actually taken from this ancient, you know, ballad, Chinese ballad, about the, the actual soldier Mulan, whose the name Mulan actually means female warrior. The animated series was actually adapted to this, but changed. You know, they didn't have little Mushu dragons in that ballad and all this. But this story of Mulan is actually more truer to the original version of that ballad, which I thought was amazing. It kind of reminded me of a mix between like Memoirs of a Geisha and, and Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I know it's a weird thing to say. It's kind of like a mix because, but let me tell you why. Because it kind of starts off with, you know, she's this young girl and, and in that time, you know, girls are supposed to, they, they even say girls are supposed to be honored, their family honors their family by marriage. So they just prep them for marriage and to find a match. She dresses up and, and paints her face and has the little thing and, and just goes on proper like this. So, you know, and then that that was the role of a woman. So that kind of reminded me of like the memoirs of a geisha. But then here comes that crouching tiger hidden dragon. Right. You know, she goes off in the middle of the night before her dad was supposed to join the army to fight the, the, for the emperor and, and save the dynasty and all this. And then that's when that's when the crouching tiger is released. Those action scenes with her and fighting and, and just her flips and all this. And it, it's a it, it, it blew me away. If you like those kind of fight scenes, if you like that movie Crouching Tiger and Dragon, when they have those kind of fight scenes, this reminded me of a lot like that. Of course, the story, one reason I love it is because of the female empowerment in it. This, I knew this was going to be a story I would love because of that. I knew this was going to be a story that I wanted to show my daughter and watch with my daughter. I tell you, I was a little taken aback by myself just because of things I didn't expect that would touch me like they did. Like the vulnerability of the character. I was so excited to see like her empowerment and, and courageousness and bravery and war, women, a woman warrior. But it was really the things that, you know, her vulnerability, you know, when she joined the army, how she put on a brave face, but still you can just see the vulnerability underneath and, and, and just this, how she was scared underneath. And that's what really touched me. I think in our day and age, you know, women, our, we, we have to be strong, especially when you've got in the workplace, right? We have to put on that brave face all the time every day and, and be strong. And to show any kind of vulnerability is, is kind of like a sign of weakness, it, it seems. And this movie kind of breaks those barriers. It kind of breaks through those barriers and be like, no, it is like part of the, who you are and what makes you strong, this weakness, this vulner what you say is weakness or this vulnerability. You know, that's part of what makes you brave and strong. You know, they even say you can't be courageous without fear. Another thing they had in this movie, which they never had in the original animated movie, was the female antagonist, that the female witch in this. I mean, we had the villain, that that Boris, Boris Khan guy, but he also had this, you know, sidekick, you, you can almost call her, who they called the witch, and she kind of had these powers. And she kind of plays, like you said, like a, an antagonist, which you know, that's who Milan could actually become if she lets you know, society take, you know, rule over her. She lets, you know, all these stigmas of women can't be like this or like that take over her and make her hard and, and dark. So it kind of shows what what you can become if you let those things take control of you. And of course, I love the message about family, you know? I mean, they say brave, loyal, and true. That was th something that, 
you know, they kept repeating in this story. But, you know, the message of also like family being up there and important, it, it really touched my heart because, you know, it is true. I mean, especially in this time we're going through now, you know, family is like the rock in the center. And those are the ones we hunker down with, you know, during the COVIDs and, and rely on every day. So I love that part about this movie. Usually, let me tell y'all, this movie is stunning. Now, I saw a screener of it. It's Disney signed a screener last week of it. But I was uh, very lucky to actually see this on the big screen. Back in March, before the week before COVID done take over the world, you know, they had the, the world premiere of this in LA and I got to attend it. So I got to see it on the big screen. And oh, let me tell you just the 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 imagery of the action shots, you know, the crouching tiger. It was just beautiful on the big screen. I am so sad that I won't, it won't make its appearance because it, I haven't watched both. It just takes away something special about it. Just the beauty of it, you know? So that's one thing I was, I'm was. i a little disappointed that we won't be able to tell you enough how much I love this. I know people are going to have their problems. They're so, you know, it's just strong to the original animated Disney movie that they know and love that when they don't have the little, is it, when it's changed or they have the me shoes or even the songs, they're going to hate that. But I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of all these remakes that they make from the animated series that's exactly like the original. I mean, if I want to see the original, I'll just watch the animated ri original. I like these little changes that they make for these live actions. And this really is more truer to the original ballad. So how can you even complain? If you plan on watching, it'll be available this Friday on Disney+. Plus. You can buy it. And it stays in your account, $29.99, and it stays in your account for like ever. For like Let ever. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, if you plan on seeing it or not. And uh, until next time.